I even found a way under your roof! These are some persistent zombies, dude. You need to put those cat <laughs> You need to put those cabbage poles here. You oh god, why can't I ever get this right? You will need to use cabbage poles here due to the angle of your roof. Remember that, and you're good to go. Thanks, Crazy Dave. I think your plans just hit the surface. I don't know, I think the last row is fine, but <sighs> we don't have something important right now, and then a lack of an important thing is gonna kinda hurt. Um, otherwise, we're dealing with a really nice and standard level. Mm. Oh, this is so standard. It's so standard, I could eat my own butt! I don't think I have anything I'd really care to use. I guess some survival tools, maybe? Be a squash, in case things get ha hazy, and... Uh, this, I guess? Pots! You can't plant on a roof, you dingus! You can't! There's no earth, there's no soil, there's no valuable nutrients. So instead, if you want to plant on your roof, you need a pot! Oh yeah, I still have Rick. Rick power, yeah. Rick power, yeah. Rick power, yeah. Which reminds us all of the great hero, Dick Tickler. Come on, get us to the full, full cycle. Ugh, whatever. Don't, don't, don't get my cycles up. Ugh, fine. Catapults, cabbage bolts, deal two damage per hit. Actually, they deal 40 DPS. But who cares? Damage per shot. Um, essentially, it only take five hits to take out a single bad Beano. The downside is exactly what you think it is. They attack slower, so if there are many zombies, they take a little bit longer to adjust their aim to the actual threats. So, right, keep track of that. Keep your eye on the prize. I remember, this boy can attack backwards. It's not, it's not immediately relevant right now. I just, I just thought it was a cool detail. We're gonna need multiple cabbage bolts on this lane right now. I think they give you this so that you can use these boys free float. Fire at will! Fire at will! Ah. Delicious sun. Sun flora! This is bad. That's a bungee zombie! He will take your stuff! What an asshole! <laughs> you can kill him, uh, he's not indestructible. But the fact that he removes your plants is annoying. I don't think pumpkins protect spaces. So... It sucks to be you, I guess. Yeah, you can still hit them. Look at how low those projectiles are, though. Look at how high they go. Woo. It's front lane or never, kiddos and kiddodettes. Yeah, I learned the proper terminology. Kiddos and kiddoettes. The only appropriate language for kids. I mean, starfruit are just cute. How can you not like them? What kind of monster are you that you don't want to have a starfruit in your garden? Look at that cute boy. He tries him his best. And therefore, he gets the prize. He kept his eyes on the prize, and he got the price. Well, we got a big wave incoming. This is boss. The bodies hit the floor as the bodies hit the floor. No! Not my pure and innocent baby! Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. Yeah, there's a little bit more going on that I may have initially let it on. The the roof levels are are uh, are a trip, man. Look how they attack. They just kind of squish. Plant pots, vital, important, powerful boys. Hey neighbor, got some new items on sale. I like how you're. Oh, thank you. <sighs> it's not bad, but I don't need it. That's not bad, but you can't plant them on the roof! <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. 
Whatever, Crazy McDave. You know what? I usually record... How about after this we do some other levels and earn some... some... No, there's actually I want to get to five... Four or five before we start doing that. I want to earn some dosh off to the side. Uh, we want this. This is essentially the lily pads this level. But slightly different is that unlike the lily pad, it's very hard to compensate. We can't stop bungee zombies though. And unless you want to use these, you're just not going to get any mileage out of them. Uh, what else? I guess some, 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 some solutions would be bad. I already got starfruit manning the front. And I can't use, yeah, the nocturnal, so they... I like this. I like this. Like, hey, you can plant it, but it's not going to do anything. There's got to be something I can use, right? There's got to be something I can use here. Beh. Was I going to do something? I forgot. Whoops. Well, that's video games for you, kids. Uh, let's take this as an... Mm. I'm gonna do that. I might as well not take the pumpkin. It's called a shell. Uh, I mean, well, nice. Well, nice. Reek. Use your reek. I like that we're back to five rows again. The problem is, eventually, we're gonna unlock a plant that makes it so that you go. Oh, God, why do we have five rows? I don't want five rows. I want more rows. Yeah. One thing I like is that uh, at this point, it's like, you know how to handle the game, you know how to handle the, the economy, you've, you've dealt with um, humble pie. So it's like, hey, listen, listen, you're an adult, you're an adult now, how about you deal with some actual problems? I'll probably pick up another... It's a warm day, but it's finally cool, and it's nice in the evening, and, uh, oh, whoops. It's a warm day. We don't all have time to, to talk about the birds and the bees and the bees and the birds! And everything in between the birds and the bees and the bees and the birds and the birds and the bees and the bees and the birds. <sighs> I kind of just want to put down a star fruit. Sure, why not? It's not going to help me, but I can do it. And are you going to... Oh! God, he's in the wrong spot. Whoops. Whoops! Who's with their pants down now? The answer is me. I have my pants down. And I feel silly for it. <sighs> Man, do I feel silly. I forgot the fuck. Slant of the Ruth. Uh, why did I pick these? I'm not going to use them. I know I'm not going to use them. And yet I picked them. I did it. I made the biggest mistake of a lifetime. And I did it with a smile on my face. On my visage. Why did I put you... Why didn't I take pumpkins with me if I'm just going to plant a new front row? They just add some nice spread DPS, you know. Just some nice just some spread DPS. <laughs> and now comes the fun part. We're all the. S yes! I have backfiring bullets, baby. Why did I take you so long to attack him? Oh, yeah, because he's on the weird lane. And they all get really weird when people get on the weird lane. Well, first, uh, first attack incoming. Also, I'm pretty sure the pumpkins do not defend against, uh, chicanery. So if you're dealing with some chicanery, bad news, buckaroo. Your pumpkins ain't gonna cut it against these nasty assassination attempts. Oh no! Don't assassinate him! She did nothing wrong. She just showed up to work on time on Sunday. Uh, whatever. I thought I was the hippest shit in town, but in reality, the loser was me all along. I'm the one who loses. 
Don't worry, we're not gonna have to deal with just the cabbage bolts. We're gonna get an upgrade soon enough. I just wanna do a couple of, like, bonus levels and stuff. It's still fun to do. You know? Awards ain't bad, either. Let's just throw some defenses. Might as well. Might as heckin' well. Really. Oh, that's bad. Ooh, that's really bad. Attack! Never surrender! In fact, you know what? Squash has come back fast enough. Give him the goods! Show him the goods! Yes, that was not a bad decision. That was not a bad decision, considering he decided to show up. Um, considering my production. Considering my production. Considering my production. God dang, he's still my biggest boy! Oh, that's so mean! You bully! You monster! That is bullying first degree. Oh my goodness, you have no idea how much of a bully that is. That is a monster bully. That is an atomic bully. That's not gonna fly with me, boy. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Meet the wall! Dwayne the wall junk. How do my plants shoot over these things? There's an answer that I need. That doesn't matter right now. Who cares about dividends? I've already lost the real game, the game of life. <sighs> losing a sunflower plant just hurts more, even though, technically speaking, the loss is better because you're not losing DPS over lanes. I don't know, man. It's just a mental trickery thing. My brain's playing tricks on me! Well, I mean, I was kind of planning on replacing that one anyway. So thank you. Thank you. You wanna try me, Bucketheads? You're about to taste defeat, and it tastes like cabbage! And starfruit, for some reason. I mean, it's a thing you can do. It's a really silly idea, but you can totally just put a split pea behind a zombie and have him shoot him in the back like a monster. Oh, I feel like such a jerk. This is the Colonel Pult. There's a reason it's not called corn or cob. Um, it shoots butter and butter freezes them. Uh, Colonels do regular pea damage. Uh, butter does regular uh, cabbage pult damage. These guys are annoying, but we'll deal with them later. Uh, let's, go to the let's, let's go take a look at minigames. So what do we have? We have Zombotany. We have the slot machine, and we have walnut bowling. I remember that I didn't like any of them, but so is the fish, they say. So is the fish. 